Hello Gamers, over the years Rockstar Games has emerged as a force to be reckoned with in the games industry. Rockstar is the behemoth of this video games industry when it comes to creating unique and engaging single-player experiences. While not every single Rockstar-made game has been a big hit, the vast majority have done well. This list is my personal opinion and may vary according to you, so without wasting any time, let's start the rankings. Number 10. Manhunt. With the likes of Metal Gear Solid, Thief, Tenchu, and Splinter Cell often thought of as the monumental stealth action titles, it's a shame that Manhunt has never been regarded in the same way. Rockstar's first stab at stealth drew attention from major outlets for its gory action, letting you strangle unsuspecting victims with barbed wire and suffocate them with plastic bags. To a degree, that's fair. Manhunt is grotesque and uncomfortable with its violence even now, with basic household items being used to murder people, while the camera lingers on every moment and detail. Every spurt, every convulsion plays to disgusting effect. However, unlike the sequel, Manhunt's violence feels thematically apt and like it has a point. Number 9. L.A. Noir. This is an extremely unique game. You play as a detective in LA in 1947, and you solve multiple crimes. You find clues, interrogate suspects and witnesses, and determine who caused the crime. The game only holds your hand on the first case, and after that, you're on your own to solve the mysteries. This game has incredible facial animations, which plays into the interrogation thing, where you need to determine whether or not a person is lying. The playtime for only doing the main cases is probably around 30 hours, but there's so other things, such as street crimes and golden film reels, which makes you play the game more. Number 8. Grand Theft Auto 3. The sprawling crime epic that changed open world games forever. The critically acclaimed blockbuster Grand Theft Auto 3 brings to life the dark and seedy underworld of Liberty City. With a massive, and diverse open world, a wild cast of characters from every walk of life, and the freedom to explore at will, Grand Theft Auto 3 puts the dark, intriguing and ruthless world of crime at your fingertips. The gameplay is weak, but you can have some fun while playing. Grand Theft Auto 3 is simply a classic, the first of the games in the criminal world with open world. Number 7. Max Payne 3. In this game for Max Payne, the tragedies that took his loved ones years ago are wounds that refuse to heal. No longer a cop, close to washed up and addicted to painkillers, Max takes a job in Sao Paulo, Brazil, protecting the family of wealthy real estate mogul Rodrigo Branco in an effort to finally escape his troubled past. But as events spiral out of his control, Max Payne finds himself alone on the streets of an unfamiliar city, desperately searching for the truth and fighting for a way out. Combining cutting-edge shooting mechanics with a dark and twisted story, Max Payne 3 is a seamless, highly detailed, cinematic masterpiece experience from Rockstar Games. Number 6. GTA Vice City. One of the best GTA ever made is undoubtedly Grand Theft Auto Vice City. A perfect blend of narrative and fun gameplay. GTA Vice City offered a compelling story about Tommy Versetti's journey in the 1980s. It only took nine months to develop this game and was a huge step up from GTA 3. The nostalgia for this game is overwhelming. It actually hold up pretty well, the feel and look of the game is great. Amazing voice acting, very interesting side missions and loads of fun. The game obviously aged, especially if you played the newer GTA games. Number 5. Bully. It's GTA but without blood and deadly weapons, and instead of playing as an adult man, you play as Jimmy Hopkins. A 15-year-old kid who's aggressive and a fighter, but not truly malicious. He only gives people what they have coming to them. Bully takes place in Bullworth, a town in New England. Your mom, well, Jimmy's mom, drops you off at Bullworth Academy. A boarding school. The school is full of bullies and corrupt teachers, and it's up to you to put a stop to it. Overall, a classic. Anyone who claims to be a fan of Rockstar Games but hasn't played this game is not a true fan. Number 4. Grand Theft Auto 5. Speaking of all-timers, we come to GTA 5. 
This game didn't do a whole lot different from GTA 4, but it's remembered more for what it accomplished than how it was. Not only did it receive nearly unanimous perfect scores, but it became the fastest selling entertainment product in history, broke numerous industry records, and has since become the third highest selling video game ever with 110 million copies shipped. It's a bona fide cultural phenomenon, and it remains just as relevant today as it was back in the autumn of 2013. Number 3. Grand Theft Auto 4. This game is way ahead of its time. It was released over a decade ago and is still more advanced than most games being released today. The graphics still hold up pretty well, but it's the physics that really make this game special. Shooting people feels so good because of the euphoria physics and bailing out of moving vehicles is insanely fun. And don't even get me started on car damage. It's so fun seeing how the car crumples up after going full speed into a wall. I honestly enjoy this more than GTA 5. There are certainly aspects that 5 does better, but overall, I feel like there's more to do in the world of GTA 4. I also think the story is much better. Instead of the typical humorous GTA story, GTA 4 goes for a much darker tone, focusing on things like betrayal and revenge. If you want a great story-driven single-player sandbox game that is moderately challenging you won't find anything better. Great story, great gunplay, great setting. Number 2. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. The reason Grand Theft Auto San Andreas ranks so highly on the list is because this game achieved so much way ahead of its time, taking the open world vibe to a totally new level long before the likes of Skyrim were able to do so. Paying homage to the 90s gang movies that became incredibly popular, the game followed CJ as he returned following the death of his mother, reconnecting with his old gang, the Grove Street families. This then went on to be one of the best storylines in GTA history, but it was the exploration that really took this game to a new height of popularity, with versions of LA, Vegas and San Francisco really giving people a lot to do. Number 1. Red Dead Redemption 2. In simple terms this game is just brilliant. The atmosphere in every single moment is perfect. If you enjoy gaming, even just casually, movies, books or any kind of storytelling then you owe it to yourself to experience this masterpiece. It's years ahead of current-gen gaming and movies storytelling alike. The last time we saw anything on this level was the Uncharted series, the Last of Us by Naughty Dog along with Rockstar's previous release, Grand Theft Auto V. It starts out by letting you get used to the great experience you're about to explore, by giving you two to three hours of a linear opener, Chapter 1, that not only explains the basic controls and feel, but also lays out the base of a great story to come. You can easily sink hundreds of hours in this huge experience exploring the vast beautiful world of the West in early 1900s. There's so much to do, and that's just a single-player experience, when you've finished that, there's Red Dead Online. A huge open world with friends and foes alike. Masterpiece doesn't begin to explain this gem. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. And if you find the video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.